Hello everybody, I've just finished another junk journal that I'd like to share. This is another two signature journal. It measures six by nine. I've again left the signature binding on the outside so that I can attach the ribbons and the sari silk. A couple charms that are detachable, um, some beads, a charm, a recycled earring on here for color, another one down here with some pretty beads, black and gold and green that match the colors of the cover. The cover is made from layers of cardstock stitched together all the way around, front and back. I've added a muslin piece of fabric underneath and some cardstock, book page, and the butterfly came from a book about butterflies and it's all attached to the front cover and there's the back. And I'm going to go a little bit quickly here because I only have 15 minutes on the video. So I've got these pretty butterflies on the inside and I just love this paper here. This clip holds a journaling tag here and the nice thing with these clips is that you can relocate the items anywhere throughout the journal. And this has a card that flips open, coloring book page, digital cutout, this pretty rice paper that flips up, a pocket stitched here. This is actually a double pocket with some stenciling and a printout with some lace and sorry silk coffee dyed paper. This was a collage tag made from paper napkin and doily and tissue paper. This digitally printed paper came from a collage that I did. I scanned it and I printed out and used it in my journals and matched it up with some scraps of paper that I stitched along the edge. This is one of my photos. This butterfly paper is machine stitched to coffee dyed paper. I've added some stamped butterflies and here I have a recycled greeting card for some journaling space. Lots of space in here to add your own personalized items. This is cardstock with just a little touch of glitter and a tab sewn on. This paper has fibers woven through it, a little bit of silver embossing, machine stitching around the edges here to make a pocket, and some pretty tags inside the pocket. An ATC that I made layered with paper. And those go right in that pocket. And this page opens up the word abundance, machine stitched, lots of space for journaling. This element is machine stitched to the page. It is cardstock, pieces of lace, sorry silk, a piece of embroidered dresser scarf layers of paper and book page machine stitched left open on the side for a pocket life's most beautiful things are not seen with the eyes but felt with the heart stamped on the back washi tape a printed paper back with some postage stamps from foreign countries with some butterflies a bird that is printed on book page layered some cardstock and this bird image and I made this envelope and attached it so that it became the center of the signature and inside. The little story as quickly as I can, this bird's nest I painted as a follow along for a lady named Angela Anderson and when I finished my painting I photographed it and printed it out on vellum and then stitched it with blue thread onto music page and cardstock. Added onto the second half of the paper bag some paper scraps and a page from a book about birds. On the other side of the bag I made a pocket just layered some cardstock and a piece of trim, something from a recycled greeting card, a kindness is long remembered. It goes right back in there. And inside the bag, just made a mini journal out of paper that matches what's on the front of the journal and just machine stitched in some miscellaneous papers. And this page is fastened with an altered paper clip. 
This is one of my photos that I jazzed up in Adobe Photoshop. You could write on the back of that. And there's the altered paper clip. This is a fabric tip stitched with some eyelash trim at the top. Layered some tissue paper, stamping. It takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. Some more paper trim. Stitched a pocket here with some lace trim on coffee dye paper. And this printed image has machine stitching all the way around. This pocket is layered cardstock and paper. This is one of my images. A bird tried to get in the front door a couple years ago, and I try to include that in my journals. Book page. This is a book page that I tore out and layered with other papers and stenciling to make a tag, and layered the back with coffee dyed paper and another tag for that pocket. This coffee dyed page has printing. You were always meant to fly, layered with paper and lace sewn on, and this all folds out. Lots of space to journal here. Just layered some paper and some book page. And this again is from a book. Fussy cut the bird here, stamped, plant your feet firmly and let your heart have wings. Washi tape down the center. Coloring book. I layered an image of a butterfly with some paper. End of first signature, beginning of second signature, stamp, life is art, paint your dreams, sing your songs, enjoy the dance. Layered up some paper and stickers, thought this paper was cute. Added a uh, flashcard with this cute little mouse, another flashcard, and this is a page from a book about needlework, and I punched a hole in the corner and added an eyelet, added some eyelash trim and ribbon, coffee dye paper on the back, stamped along the inside edge here, added some paper trim, layered a pocket here with this printed image of bees, stamped some bees on the inside, some items in the pocket, one of my photos. This page is made from um, a drawer liner paper. When I first bought it, it actually had a scent of lavender to it. Um, this pocket, again, just some miscellaneous journaling spots, layered some paper, stamped some music notes, some coffee dyed paper, a little paragraph about wallflowers, stamping, take time to enjoy the simple things in life, this pocket I stitched on the paper, and this bird came from a little page that I doodled some little sketches of birds, scanned that, printed them out, stamped on it, and layered it with paper. And then I took this piece of printed cardstock and layered it with book page and paper and machine stitched this pretty piece of crochet trim. And that goes right in the pocket. Machine stitching around this page. Another page from the book on butterflies, the word adventure, some more layering of lace and paper, book page, dresser scarf, stamping. This was a coffee dyed envelope that I collaged some um, paper napkin on that and just added some stamping, some paper, and bird book there and some journaling spots inside the envelope, digital page, center of the signature, one of my photos with this pretty yellow trim, center of the signature I added these punched butterflies, the other half of that coffee dyed envelope, and I've added one of my photos with some brightly colored index cards and decoupage napkin on there, more book page and fabric. This 
envelope was a pack of stationery that I got last week at a secondhand store. It had this pretty stationery that folds up and goes inside. The envelope was blank, but I added this paper and fussy cut these swans from a vintage greeting card. And they're held in place on the edge of the book with an altered paper clip. And this is cardstock with some ribbon that had the um, monarch butterfly and some cheesecloth on there. Another coffee dyed page with an altered paper clip and it is holding another spot for journaling. I've just layered some paper and book page there and machine stitched a pocket with some lace trim and this pretty card stock pops right in there. Another pocket, this tag, coffee dye paper on the back, recycled greeting card with book page, a little bit of crochet trim and rip wrap. Sorry silk and eyelash trim, a piece of old yellow school paper. Stitched some trim at the top and this flips up and some stenciling on coffee dye paper, some die cuts, and some stenciling in the background. This page I have stitched some printed cardstock and layered that up with some scraps of lace and ribbon and sorry silk and a little eyelash trim on the pocket, stenciled on an index card, and another one of those pages from the book about needlework, and you could journal across both sides because the, the colors are light. And this pocket layered up this printed image with some book page and ribbon. And this is one of my photos of a dragonfly that I printed in black and white. I could journal on that. And there you have it. That's it. I enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.